I am the coin reaper, apparently. I don't know what that means, but I do know one thing. I'm a flying sock. This is Lost Socks, which is a game that's coming out on iPhone and on iPad this Thursday. And, uh, ooh, ooh, doesn't it look good? Isn't it lovely? It's got a very old school uh, animated style that really reminds me of a game called Earthworm Jim that was released in the 90s. If you were around during that time, you might remember it. It was turned into a cartoon as well. And uh, it was an excellent looking game, which had this very kind of bouncy, lovely cartoon art style. And... Uh, I was very fond of it. And this does make me think of that. Just the way that the visuals have been presented and everything. And Oh, I've just died. I thought I could collect that one. I obviously can't collect him. Oh, no. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, the way that everything flows. The very obviously kind of comic book look to it all. Um, but also just the, the animation is fantastic. Look at it. Look at him bouncing along. Look at these enemies crawling along. Uh, it's great. I'm really, really impressed by it. It is also, ouch, a little bit tough. Like, I'm surprised because, you know, a lot of games now, they don't really bother being hard. They just kind of let you drift along and do your own thing. But this one, it, uh, you die quite a lot if you're not paying attention. And sometimes I don't pay attention, I've got to be honest. So you can jump using the button on the left-hand side. A short, tiny tap will do a little hop. And if you hold the button, you will inflate yourself and start floating through the air like this. There you go. And then there are the buttons on the lower right hand side one of them is a straight up fire button that's the blue one this purple one i just accidentally pressed and then died makes you do that kind of jaunt warp forward like a blink in dishonored um and then there's another one which kind of launches a super powerful attack which is the red button at the top for my money those three buttons they're a little bit close together and because you have to kind of press the fire button a lot in this game you have to shoot 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 i find my hand accidentally drifting over and my thumb collides with the other button and then i press the wrong thing which isn't so good so that's my complaint about it the difficulty level isn't helped by the position of those buttons but Perhaps I'm not used to it. I've only just started playing it, so I'm not going to unfairly say it's rubbish at this point. Well, look at all these enemies. Bam. Oh. See, I, shoot it, I shot that massive super fire button, and it didn't really do anything. I don't know how it works exactly. Perhaps I'm doing it wrong. Stranger things have happened. But look at the animation for the blaster. Look at the kind of the flash that comes out of your the end of your gun there. It's so good looking. Oh, I've got shield this time. That's nice. I like that. So yeah, I am slightly intimidated by the difficulty of it, but I think it's just a case of like learning how the game works and getting accustomed to the moves, frankly. Shoot, 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 shoot. I don't think it's going to turn out to be, uh, you know, Dark Souls difficult or anything. Just a case of getting accustomed to how it plays. There you go, there's the end of the level. Mostly this is just a showcase for you, to show you how it moves, because yeah, it's a looker can't complain. I think it's going to be a premium release. It's going to be out this Thursday on iPhone and on iPad. We will give you a review when it properly, properly comes out. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.